Tell someone you've been to Tokyo about telling someone you've been to Tokyo. That wasn't from Tokyo, it's actually from Amazon. Welcome back to YouTube, my friends. Uh, we've been for a long hiatus, really. The last one was the Italy. That was the most up-to-date footage you've got so far. And we ended that vlog with saying, we we're going to show you the car in the next one. So we're about to show you it. But first, I wanted to give you a little rundown of what's been going on. My hair is all falling out, post-prep. Sad times for me. Happier times on the horizon though, I've booked, a, I've booked a hair transplant, I'm going for it. A month today I'll have the fattest head known to man and I'll be flying back from Istanbul. So that's good. Turkish hairlines, I'm excited. It's been a long time coming, so follow that journey. I'm sure you will be very interested in that. Secondly, my new split begins, or it began yesterday. I am the, the architect of this split, so I'm gonna talk you through that again, not in this video, but stay tuned because I will cover it in the next video and tell you what I'm working on and why. And today is my wife's final birthday celebration. We're going to a very nice hotel for a little staycation in Dubai. So we're excited for that. But first, let's go see the car. Then we got a little posterior session and then we're gonna go chill by the pool. All right, let's go. So I've set myself up in one fit. I'm gonna be coaching myself for these next few months, really. Um, I don't see the point really in using my time or coach's time or my finances to check in and it's going to be a bit all over the place. So I've set myself up one fit for one of two reasons. Number one, fantastic platform. If you're a coach and you're not using it, get on it. Uh, and number two, so I can obviously have my clients experience as well. So when they have questions about how to use it, I can help them out. So today's posterior, the split is going to be upper one posterior rest and upper two lower delts and arms. So going back to the old school a bit, um, in half and half, so the two halves. Um, so today's posterior, the focus for the overall split is kind of systemic growth, but a little bit of bias towards the areas of weakness, which this year I definitely noticed was like delts, chest, arms, um, versus the people that were smashing me in their shows. So I want to really bring up the size and the fullness in those over the next year, whilst also kind of growing everywhere. So that is the, the plan. I'll talk you through it in more detail, but posterior today, part of the calves, that's still a weakness, they still need more. We're going to the wide grip back pull down, um, a kind of neutral back row. It's an overall back smasher leverage row. We're going to do abs, seated leg curl, RDLs, and adductors. And that is the session. The reason I've got RDLs later on in the session is going to take away too much from these other movements, and I'm still going to get so much stimulus from an RDL even later on in the session. So that is the reason for that. Let's get stuck into wide grip pulls. I literally thought about this bit yesterday, created it this morning, and now I'm in for session number two because I sort of made session number one up on the go. Um, my initial thoughts well, we're gonna have to, well, I'm gonna have to monitor recovery quite closely. I've got five weeks until the operation, so that's enough time to like, calibrate and see what's going on. But obviously, I'm in a cruise dose, so I've got physiological levels of hormones. I'm not superhuman right now. Um, I will be training to failure, as opposed to failure. It's possible with, inter with high intensity. Um, baseline volumes is two, two or three sets across the board. Two sets on any uh, compound movements, and then two or three on delts and arms. And we will just see how it goes. Um, I came into the gym today not feeling too sore. I did hit some back yesterday. 
so I can feel it when I'm training. But obviously, I don't know yet whether I'm progressing or not. So that's something I need to work out. But yeah, top set I need to come. One set of RDLs, one set of adapter, and then we're out of here. go people we got a Jeep Wrangler and limited Sahara with currently off road tires that we need to swap but we don't care we got it army green with the orange interior I didn't choose any of it myself but I think the car is sick so there you go that's a new whip quite a different from the previous but we love it don't we yeah sick car anyway let's go and enjoy the one and only Zabu Six egg white omelet with vegetable and turkey ham, but yeah, it was just plain. So she's gonna break my. It's already good. No, it's plain. There was nothing in it. Uh, it's plain egg white omelet, so no, pretty bland. Uh, hotel breakfast buffet is not like, the best thing on the planet. <laughs> Unreal, absolutely terrible for if you're trying to calorie restrict. Because for 11 a.m. you could very easily eat 4,000 calories, but we've got a plate of. Lean cooked meat and vegetables, and a smoked salmon, and then egg white omelette. So, sticking to the script. <laughs> 